In a previous video, I showed you how to program the TM1638 module using Arduino to turn on LEDs and display values on 7 segment screens. In this video, the TM1638 will be programmed to detect key press from onboard buttons. Pressing a button will turn on the LEDs and display values on the 7 segment screens. The Arduino is used to program the TM1638 to scan and detect a key press by the onboard push buttons. Pressing any key will display a value on the 7 segment display. The TM1638 controller can multiplex up to 16 buttons. For an 8 button module shown here, the controller can read 8 buttons and return 4 bytes of data based on this table here. So for example, if uh, S5 is pressed, then byte 1 will have a value of 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, so a hexy value of 1, 0, and the rest of the bytes will be zeros. This is the flowchart required to read the push buttons from the TM1638 module. We need to set the strobe low and then we need to shift out the command byte for reading the uh, push button which is uh, hexadecimal 42 and then we need to set the DIO pin to input and then we need to shift in the first byte and then the second byte byte 3 byte 4 and then we need to set back the DIO to output and then strobe high. A quick look at the C++ code used in this project I've created three header files. The first one is to initialize the uh, TM1638, which is this part here, this function. And the second header file, read buttons, its purpose is to store the pressed keys or press buttons into a variable, which is uh, this part here. And the third, the third function is uh, set LED. Its purpose is to uh, turn on the LED based on a pressed button, which is this part here. Within the setup function, the initialization function is called, which is this part here. Now this uh, function was explained in detail in my part 1 video for the programming of the TM1638. Inside the loop function, the first thing we do is call this function read buttons. And inside this function read buttons, the first thing we do is to send the command byte to enable read buttons. The command byte is 42. Next we set the data pin as input and using this for loop get the four bytes from the controller and then or them together and store them in variable buttons. Next we set the data pin as output and then return buttons back to the calling function which is the loop function. Back in the loop function, this variable buttons now has a value indicating which button was pressed. And using this for loop, the appropriate LED will turn on. So for example, if we press S1, the first LED will turn on. If we press S2, the second LED and so on. Inside the for loop, a mask byte is generated with this statement. Now position indicates the position of the LED and the value of position is from 0 to 7. So 0 indicates the first LED, 7 indicates the last LED. This mask byte is then added with the value of buttons and the result of which is either true or false. So if the result is true then 1 is selected otherwise 0 is selected. So now the outcome of this expression, which is either 1 or 0, and the value of position are sent to the function set LED. And finally, inside function set LED, we send the command byte to set for single address mode, and then turn on the LED based on the pressed push button. Running this next code will display some letters and uh, numerals on the seven segment displays. So for example here, 
if we execute this statement uh, pressing S1 will display the letter A on the first seven segment display for this statement pressing S2 will display the letter B on the second second display and so on and here at the end if we press S8 it will display the numeral 4 on the last seven segment display in a future video the TM1638 will be programmed to display some sensor readings such as temperature, humidity, and pressure. Thank you for watching.